Hello there, YouTube. We are going to console verify NES Disney's DuckTales. It's a game that I remember from a while ago, but it's been a while since I've seen it, so we'll see how this goes. We're going to run this program here and say we're going to do a new run. We're going to load up Aglar Meshuga's DuckTales run. We're going to use controller ports 1 and 2. Uh, I'm going to say that this is a normal run with uh, eight, button, eight, bits, eight, 8 buttons on the controller. Uh, no overread or anything funny like that, but I am going to say we're going to use a window mode of 3.5 milliseconds. The number of blank frames to prepend we're going to say 1, because I'm going to try this from power on. I'm going to power the console off. Type save. Reset it, and hide this, and let's see if we can get this to console verify. This is the first attempt. Have not tried until now. Who knows what will happen. Here goes. Oh, well, that's a good start. You can find this particular run on past videos, along with a lot of other amazing tool-assisted speedruns. This particular run was made quite some time ago now. It was made in... Oops, hold this up again. It was made in 2013 by Aglar and Meshuga. This was made back with FCEUX... 2.2.1, uh, but it seems to still be synchronizing on a newer run. This particular run aims for the fastest time, takes damage to save time, manipulates luck, abuses programming errors, and plays the hardest difficulty. Now, Mishuga left a lot of comments on the submission notes. Those submissions notes can be found at taskvideos.org slash 4042s.html. Just pasted that into the chat, which should be visible there on the left. He said specifically that he used a variety of Lua scripts to be more precise, among other things. Okay, all I can say is that that looked really weird because he was jumping on it anyway. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything more than that. That just looks weird. I, I shouldn't say these things. <laughs> So this whole run is all of 7 minutes and 4 seconds. And I can't get over how weird this looks. <laughs> I know it's his cane. I, I, I understand it's his cane. I also understand the limitations of NES graphics. There's only so much you can do. Although, in fairness, they did a pretty good job on this particular game for making the graphics look good. But it doesn't change the fact that it looked kind of weird. So let me see if he has any notes on this particular fight. Well, that was fast. Um, <laughs> Hi, future self watching this on YouTube. Um, if you are not part of my community, you are welcome to come over to discord.tas.bot. It will now work anywhere, even on HTTPS, because we have a proper redirect there. Uh, the community that you see here watching this live stream there's a lot of people that are on my Twitch community that are that are there on Discord as well. It's the best place to go to get involved. Uh, this particular run, I can't even possibly do justice to proper commentary. Uh, I can only say, uh, t tell you that there are a few specific things he noted. Um, specifically, they, they improved a previous run. This one had been done prior to the submission of this run. Uh, back in... Uh, looks like 20... Let me pull up the date on this one. This had previously been done earlier in 2013. And, uh... Let me look at this. 11 and 8... Yeah, less than a month later. They improved it by almost a minute? Is that right? Wow. No, they improved the time from 841 down to 704 in less than a month. <laughs> That's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> this whole run's almost over already. Um, this is definitely a case where I see in the history of this run that it was improved a number of times. The starting uh, submission was 8 minutes and 51 seconds. Uh, I think... No, no, that was two. No, the starting submission of of this run 
It was actually an omnipotent entity, if I'm not misreading this wrong. Let me see if I can look at the full absolution chain of this particular submission, because I want to make sure I'm getting all the right ones here. I do like me some DuckTales. This was just a fun game back in the day. So the very first run was all the way back in 2004. It was 8 minutes and 25 seconds, so I, I misspoke on that previous one. Uh, I think I was actually looking at a DuckTales 2 submission. <laughs> Um, so it was originally submitted in 2004, with a time of 8.25, improved to 8.14 in 2004, improved to 8.11 in 2005, improved to 7.18 in 2006, and then from there on out it was actually really minor improvements, which looks like a frame war happened. Uh, 7.14, then 7.06, and then this one's 7.04. And, and what's interesting is this run is from 2013, but it's very optimal. <laughs> How do I misread something correctly? I don't know. I suppose that's a great question. So, one of the things I like about this is there's a lot of content on on Taft's videos that's not necessarily new. This run came back and came out in 2013. It's been around for a while. Man, this music brings back some memories. This music brings back some serious memories. Um, but what I love about it is I'm not seeing suboptimal play. This looks really well put together. Very, very compelling. Even the game holds up, quite honestly. The graphics for NES are, are surprisingly good. Especially on my nice monitor. That was fast. Man, this isn't going to last much longer. <laughs> So that was the moon. He says he took damage on the moving platform in a different way. So the only thing left is Transylvania Revisit 2. His only note on this one was same vertical subpixel management in the first room as last time. So the first time he was here, uh, he said that when jumping up to the mirror, you can be one pixel closer to the left wall by not holding left until you've reached the height required to go past it. There's all kinds of those random little, little glitches that we find in tool assistant speedruns. Some of which can be done with real-time runs, and some that are completely impossible for real-time runners. What's fun is this is already almost the end. So I'm looking over here on my main monitor, just to get an idea of what's going on. My guess is he's probably going to try to end input as soon as possible, because he saved 35 frames here versus the previous submission here. Oh, I'm sorry, no, he's... No, I'm, I take it back. He actually only saved one frame, because he, he only saved 35 frames over the whole movie. I think that was the end of it. Let's see if there's any more input. No, there's a little bit more input to move text around. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, there's still, some, there's still another fight. Or more like another chest. I think that was the end of input. Yep, that, I think that was all there was. You can tell it's been a long time since I've looked at this game because I can't remember what it is. Uh, what the ending was like. Um, well, this is a short run. That's all there is to it. I'm going to do another series of these in the future where I go through and methodically break down every bit of commentary. This was just a quick one-off to kind of describe how we end up with content that's several years old that's already pretty optimal. Feel free to come visit taskvideos.org for more content anytime you like. Thanks.